inside the stories that affect you. This is Inside Kelloland. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Centella. 2023 has come with its challenges like any year, but it has also been filled with moments of hope, kindness, and joy. On this special Inside Kelloland, we're taking a look back at our most memorable positive the Kelloland's of the year. We'll tell you about a unique game of hide and seek and how it's giving kids at the Sanford Children's Hospital a fun activity to look forward to. Plus, gathering around donuts with a me weekly meeting means for a group of retired farmers. And providing ice cold water on a hot summer day. Hear from the man behind Watertown's water cooler on the bike trail. First off, a Children's Home Society fundraiser also came with a big honor for the CHS family. Kelloland's Bridget Bennett introduces us to the family and the young boy with an incredible story. Charlie had some tough experiences growing up. Nine-year-old Charlie is very familiar with the Children's Home Society after living there for like four years. But last year, his time in therapeutic foster care at CHS ended thanks to a special volunteer. My sister-in-law, Allison, was a big buddy here and she got paired up with Charlie and she was like, you just have to meet this kid. I love the opportunity to get to come here and hang out with kids. Big buddy Allison Holden never imagined she'd help a CHS kid find his forever family. So he's been in our home for just about a year, and then we got him adopted in May of this year. We waited for the perfect family, and we found them. Their adoption story was featured at the Caring for Kids Banquet, highlighting CHS's therapeutic foster program that currently cares for roughly 30 children. There's a lot of kids here that need homes, and so if we can help be a part of that, then... That would be wonderful. The Hamling family was happy to share their story to spread the word about CHS. But Charlie's story was so impactful, it moved the audience to action in a big way during the fundraising event. We have a live auction. So we have some packages that are available. One of them is a week in Costa Rica. He had said before that about this trip, he was like, you should you should bid on that. That wasn't a consideration for the Hamling family, but as the auction was underway, the CHS board of directors were working on a special surprise. Decided that they wanted to gift this to Charlie and his new family, and they spoke up and they said, we'll match the price and we will send Charlie and his family to Costa Rica. So excited for them to get to go on this trip and get to experience that and um, getting the boys to see the ocean. They've never seen the ocean before, so that's going to be really exciting. And I was very excited. An incredible surprise that brings out Charlie's million dollar smile, even after overcoming so much already. With Positively Kelloland, I'm Bridget Bennett. Charlie's family says they're looking forward to making memories together. In April, the town of Centerville rallied together to help a young athlete from a nearby town. Kobe Sherman, a junior for Vibar Curley, found out he had cancer in one of his legs. The Centerville School District stepped up and helped Kobe and his family in an amazing way. They held a special week-long fundraiser called Caps for Kobe. Kids were asked to bring $20 for the week or $5 per day to wear a hat in school. The students also got together to take a special picture form and letter K for Kobe to let him know they're thinking of him. A GoFundMe also raised more than $30,000 for the Sherman family. Some young patients at Sanford Children's Hospital in Sioux Falls got a fun distraction amidst construction happening nearby. Kelloland's Kelly Volk tells us about a game of hide and seek. There's something hiding in this construction site just outside of Sanford Children's Hospital. Kind of a Where's Waldo type thing. Meet Kirk the Kangaroo. The smiley figure is hidden in different areas around the future Sanford Orthopedic Hospital, so young patients can spot him from inside the castle. Okay, here's the deal. It's super hard. But not too hard for seven-year-old Sage, who's in the hospital with a virus. She and her sister spotted Kirk in this lift right away. Right there. A physical therapist came up with the idea, and Sanford's Kirk Ellington created him. Anything you can do to make a kid's, especially a sick kid's, uh, life better, you know, even for just a few minutes or a few, few hours, is a good thing. Contractor Henry Carlson Construction and subcontractors hide Kirk around the construction site. Not only does this kangaroo get kids out of bed and moving, 
but it also makes the days just a little bit better. There's tons of challenging stories here, so seeing the kids go in and out and being able to brighten their day makes, means a big difference to us. That was Kelly Volk reporting. Crews were hitting Kirk in a different spot each day. A local duck got some notoriety when it made it in the running to be featured in an Easter commercial. Ping was one of the top 10 finalists in the Cadbury Bunny tryouts. Her owner, Terry Jo Oline, adopted her after she was found in a box near a dumpster. I have a heart for all rescue animals and I just feel bad for them and I want to give them the life that they didn't have in the first part of their life. While Ping didn't win, it was still an honor to make it to the final round.